Hi there, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Stamp Timber video to share with you, this time the Halloween 2021 limited edition card kit. This is always wildly, wildly popular and I have two very fun cards to share with you today using components from the kit, but then also some of my favorite Tim Holtz um, Halloween product from Ranger um, to really create some amazing We are going to start with the slimline style card first. I am using some empty tomb and crooked broomstick distress mica sprays on a three and a half by eight and a half inch panel of watercolor cardstock. So this is going to be a slimline style card. If you have seen any of my other mica spray or distress spray videos, the holiday video in particular, which I will link at the end of this one, you guys know I am addicted to these. Tim said in his holiday video where he revealed the distress colors or the, the mica uh, stains in his Ranger product for holiday 2021 that if you picked up the Halloween and the holiday you have the full rainbow of colors. I know I'm not using rainbow today but when it comes to holiday I like myself a little you know, kind of grungy type of holiday. I like to do all kinds of holiday. So this is definitely gonna be spooky sweet, which is my favorite, but I definitely went a little grungy, a little dark with my background. And Crooked Broomstick is gonna be that brownish color, and then Empty Tomb is the grayish color. I love these. You'll notice I spritzed water over this, and then I'm heating it, drying it quickly, and just kind of getting my background. I keep working with the water to spread it out as needed. I want this very kind of dark, grungy background. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love making my own backgrounds. As much as of a, a pattern paper lover as I am, and really, really was back in the day when I scrapbooked, I have become completely enamored with creating my own backgrounds with all kinds of product. And this is just the latest in my favorite ways of creating backgrounds. Next, I am taking the Mummy Wrap Stencil from the Halloween Limited Edition Kit, and we are simply going to tape that to the front of our panel. Now this is gonna give, of course, a mummy wrap type of look. I love this stencil because I think it'll work anytime. Now in my kit, I got the Grave Texture Paste. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this texture paste. Um, it is amazing. Um, I actually picked up the Halloween products, so now I have two of these and I am thrilled. I am very, very messily applying this to over my background. Some of that Distress Mica Stain is going to kind of pull through the grits, the grit paste in places. I'm totally okay with that. I really want a messy mummy wrapped look. This is exactly what I was going for. You can see the texture, you can see the mess. It really, as it dried, you can see a lot of the color from the background coming through. That's exactly what I wanted for this. If you don't want that, don't use some inks and stuff back behind it, and you'll get um, more of the color of the grave texture paste instead. But if you like that, that is how this was achieved. Next, I am using the Little Boo die, also included in the kit. I mean, it's a sweet little ghost. Isn't he cute? And he's got a little chunk eaten out of him, it looks like. I wanted him to match kind of the look and feel of my background as much as possible. So I'm going from this grungy kind of background to this cute little friendly ghost and then we're gonna use some sparkly stickers and I promise it's all going to work. The way I did this was I actually added shading to my ghost die cut. I used some of the cream cardstock included in the kit to die cut my ghost so he's not from pure white cardstock at all. And then I drew in some of that those natural little lines in his little ghosty you know form and i'm blending them out with the colorless blender which basically just kind of moves the ink around but it does soften the edges of the ink a bit and i love him i think he's so stinking cute now i'm going to flip him over put some foam adhesive on the back and then we're going to take that little jack-o-lantern from the sticker sheet included in the kit and hang it from his arm. I love that it looks like he's a little trick-or-treating ghost. That's kind of my plan here. Um, 
I really worked to try to use lots of things from the kit together in unusual ways. Normally I wouldn't go for these kinds of stickers, but for this card they totally worked. And I ended up really, really loving this card. Um, another thing from the sticker sheet that I loved, the spiders. I'm gonna use both of the spiders. I will say, adhering these stickers over that grit paste background, I would recommend gluing them in place, and I'm gonna glue everything. I glued the jack-o'-lantern, I glued the spiders, I'm gonna use some candy corn and things from this, and I'm gonna glue them all down because I found that just worked better. I've got my acrylic blocks out to hold everything flat. I also added a piece of candy to the other hand of my ghost, and I added some little pink cheeks with a marker as well. And then I noticed I missed a little adhesive here, so we're just gonna go ahead and go in and add that so everything is nice and secure. Now for my sentiment today, I did go to my stash and I pulled out one of my favorite dies, the Outline Halloween from Simon Says Stamp, and I die cut it from some black cardstock included in the kit. And then I took some gold cardstock from my stash and die cut it again. We're gonna glue down the outline first. I'm using the Barely Glue to add that nice little outline all the way around. And then I'm gonna pop this right above my ghost. So the bottom half of our slimline panel is a lot of embellishment and imagery, and then the top half is a lot of sentiment. I started with the stamp I wanted to use from the stamp set included in the kit and I built from there. Now I think the glitter of this glitter cardstock matches the glittery look of the stickers we're using and that's part of the reason I picked that and then I also wanted something that was going to match my card. And I'm going to keep working with my acrylic block as I add glue and glue all of these letters down in place. Tweezers make this so much easier. You can just kind of pick them up with your tweezers and pop them right in place. You'll notice I'm using um, glue in one hand, my tweezers in the other. I have my hairband around my wrist. I never even noticed it. Normally I try to get rid of that when I'm filming. This must have been a fast and furious craft day, friends. Sometimes that happens. In fact, I know it does because I needed to get these in the mail to Simon Says Stamp, and so I, um, I'll talk about that when I get to the next card because I photographed them and normally I would have seen this and fixed something, but uh, couldn't do that because I took photos and took them to the mail and didn't come back to this for a few days. And by the time I realized what had happened, it was too late. So um, it's not the end of the world, but I do want to point it out here when we get to the second card. All right, we have one more letter. Don't forget the insides of the letter A and O, which I already added. Look at that glitter. It matches the stickers. Love, love, love this. Now, I felt I needed the word happy, so I did grab the Simon Says Stamp word happy. I die cut it from that same kind of cream colored cardstock that I stamped our little boo. And we're going to glue that right in place, right on top of the word happy, and then finish our sentiment with an adorable phrase from the stamp set included in the kit. Now this background, because of the grit paste, you're not going to be able to stamp on it, at least legibly. And so I am using that separate piece of paper. This is the black cardstock from the kit, and I am stamping a phrase on the black cardstock with clear embossing ink and heat embossing with cream embossing powder. The cream embossing powder is very important. Happy was die cut from cream. The Little Boo Ghost was die cut from cream. I feel like cream just goes better with the style of this particular card. I'm gonna heat emboss this and then of course, you guys probably already guessed it, I am gonna die cut my sentiment with my favorite favorite sentiment labels dies. I keep these dies out all the time. They are on a magnet right next to my die cutting machine because I use them literally probably 99% of the time. The sentiment I picked is I am just here for all the booze. I thought that was so funny and so cute. I buffed away the powder 
and here's a little hint that's the part that I forgot on the second card so good news on this first one I backed it with foam adhesive after die cutting and then I do want to add a little more color up here right above my sentiment this pumpkin is just too cute I had to use it I absolutely love it I love the candy corn so we're going to tuck a few up here um, I do put a little liquid adhesive back behind them to just make sure that they're nice and secure you'll notice that there's also a candy corn coming out of the center of the letter O I tried to keep it consistent all the way down the panel and I ended up really really loving this card I hope you guys do too it was super fun to create and uses a nice mix of product from the kit and a few things that I have for my stash now I loved the color combination of Crooked Broomstick and Empty Tomb so much that I took a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of watercolor cardstock, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna spritz these mica stains on there, I'm gonna spritz it with water, and then I'm going to dry it. I love the play of these colors, and I really like showing um, kind of how I achieved the background look that I did. These two colors together, amazing. They're also incredible by themselves, but I really just kind of loved the look of them together for this particular card. Now, because my paper curls up, and yours probably will too, the ink is kind of setting along the edges. So what I do is I dry it most of the way, but then I take my spritzer, in this case a distress sprayer, and I'm spraying and loosening that up and trying to move that ink a little bit so that it isn't pooling right along the edge and move it to the center just a little bit. You're going to get some fun results by doing this as well. Now this card, much, much simpler than the, the last one, although both of these are pretty easy to create. This one is going to feature the Funky Eyes stencil also included in the kit. You'll notice there are two different eyes. I'm going to use the smaller uh, eye part of the stencil again with the grave texture paste. And I am going to add these eyes and I totally moved my stencil on accident some because I didn't tape it in place or use the new waffle flower um, stenciling mats which by the time I this video is released I believe they will be out I really should have probably used them I couldn't remember though when they were coming out so I didn't for this video um, and then I'm going to kind of remove the excess grit paste because I do not want to waste a tiny little bit of that put it back in the jar I want to go clean everything right away you'll notice I got some cute little eyes on that really awesome background and I'm going to use a couple of sentiments this is easy so for the eyes to finish them off I'm actually taking some little black gemstones from my stash you could use Nuvo crystal drops um, and ebony black if you don't have gemstones you could color in uh, white gemstones with a black marker there are a lot of things you can do here I really just uh, like the little bit of dimension and texture that the black gemstones added and I think they make the eyes really fun and comical and then once I have this I am actually going to stamp and emboss my sentiments from Boudet right underneath that's it this is pretty much it for this card. I will have a couple little things I'm gonna do with those sentiments, but very, very easy and super clean and fast. So let's go ahead and stamp our first phrase. I'm gonna get that lined up in my Misty right where I want it to go. I'm gonna stamp this with clear embossing ink and heat emboss with the cream embossing powder just like I did before. So see how I use the powder tool? This is the mistake, you guys. I completely forgot after the embossing powder had cooled to buff it away, and you can see it in the photos. And because I didn't edit the photos before I mailed this, that's why I couldn't retake them. So when you see that powdery outline around the finished photos, just know that that is what happened. Stamp Timber is fast and furious. It happens. If that's the worst thing that happens, I decided I can live with it. And I just like to be real with you guys um, and always let you know the kind of dumb things that I do. So that is heat embossed. We're going to put our background back in our Misty. 
And this time I am going to stamp I heart you. And I is of course spelled like I. I think it goes with the eyes perfectly. And so I thought these sentiments went really well and really kind of worked with these stencils. I'm going to stamp that with the clear embossing ink. This time we're going to heat emboss with black embossing powder. Again, all my color choices really all go together. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that on. We're going to tap off the excess, brush away any excess embossing powder, stick it around heat emboss and the one thing that I added to this card because I felt like the heart needed something was a little Nouveau crystal drops and this is auburn pearl metallic which is kind of an orangey color I felt like it wasn't super bright orange which I didn't think would go with my background it's a little bit more of that rustic metallic-y and so that's why I picked this I'm just going to use it to paint the inside of the heart You'll see when I pull it away, it's got that orangey tint to it, but it's metallic-y and just really soft and pretty. And then I'm going to let that dry completely and that will finish my card. Now this kit comes with way more products than what I even showed you here. It comes with some gift bags, some other stickers, uh, the gray texture paste that I just accidentally dropped on the floor, lots and lots of fantastic product, pattern paper, cardstock, and of course the stamp set. So definitely check it out and get it while it's available if you love that. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two Halloween cards featuring the Simon Says Stamp limited edition exclusive Halloween card kit for 2021. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp stamp timber products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.